Hi Virgo and welcome to your singles reading for December 2017. This tarot reading is intended for those of you who have been single for a very long time or perhaps you've been experiencing a lot of rejection or maybe every single new potential that shows up quickly fizzles out before it has a chance to begin. So if you've been facing any one of those situations, there's definitely going to be some information in this reading for you. In saying that, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, please do not try to make it fit, okay? Um, it's general. I'm not looking at any one particular storyline. Also, for those of you who are interested, all the tarot decks that I'm using in this reading and the meaning of their placement in the reading is listed in the top pinned comment in the comments below this video. Also, I've put a couple affirmation and subliminal links for videos in the comment that is to attract your soulmate. I highly recommend affirmations and subliminals. I've used them personally in my life and they really do change your energy. Also, if you are hung up on an X and have not viewed your Case of the X video for December 2017, I've listed that link along with the past life soulmate videos that I just did as well. So in saying that Virgo, let's get right in to your tarot reading and see why you are having such blocked energy in regards to love and romance and if there is any shift to that in the month of December. So the card I'm going to pull here is where you should be focused, where your thoughts and emotions should be placed in the month of December. <clears throat> door to value wow I think um, your reading for November had a lot to do with finance and career as well um, in December Virgo it looks like your mind needs to be on your money um, for some of you this is literally talking about unexpected abundance coming into your life. It is the Christmas time. You know, there's a lot of holidays taking place in December. So I'm not surprised to see this card. However, the fact that it's coming out in a single reading and <clears throat> where you should focus your energy is quite interesting to me. Um, this may mean that December, again, isn't really the month to start a new romance and that might anger you to hear that or maybe that's not what you want to hear but you know I'm only reading the message of the card here there's something about finance and career you might be really focused on you know achieving a dream or doing some creative endeavor and if you were involved in a romantic partnership that might take away the energy from whatever this represents for you. And right now, this is where your focus should be because this has something to do with your foundation, your independence. Um, some of you, you could be switching your job in December or maybe even switching career paths entirely. Again, there could be a large sum of abundance that comes unexpectedly, like maybe you get a bonus at work or maybe you get a nice raise or a promotion or somebody gifts you some money. It's, you know, going to be different for all of you, but... For Virgo, it's definitely your mind should be on your finances. And this there's a, the opposite card of this, which is card 13, is financial constraints, okay? So for the Virgos I'm reading for, I really don't get the sense that your finances are in shambles at this point in time, okay? Maybe in November they were, but coming into December, there would be a complete turnaround of that energy. For whatever reason, 
your money, your goals, your finances, your career should be your <clears throat> primary focus where you're funneling all your thoughts and energies. So let's see why that is. Also, you know, maybe there's going to be somebody at your workplace that you're interested in or they're going to be interested in you. You know, it could be uh, something along those lines. But I feel like this is more about building yourself and your financial foundation and stability. So I'm going to draw some tarot cards here to understand that energy a bit more. What is that about? Well, we have the three of coins reversed, so this could be like you were, you lost your job maybe a while back, and now in December you're going to have a job again, or this could be you starting your own career, your own business, all right? So definitely the element of money, and then we have the high priestess reversed, <laughs> and then here's more. Uh, pinnacle energy, the four of coins upright. Um, so we have this transition from the three to the four with the pinnacles energy. I don't know, Virgo. And then we have this high priestess reversed. I just really get the sense here that, again, this, your energy, the Virgos I'm reading for, I don't know why. It's like, it's not the time for romance. That's why it's not happening in your life because it's literally not the right time on your path, okay? You're really like establishing yourself or becoming independent. Um, for some of you, this is like a, a bigger deal, but for others of you, maybe you were in a relationship for a really long time and you depended on your partner for everything and now that relationship has ended and you're on your own and you're trying to learn how to manage and handle everything entirely on your own but it's going to be different for everybody nonetheless this is about money and holding on to your money and holding on to your dreams and your goals and what you create all right um, it's, it's driving me nuts that the your last reading in this reading there's it's not talking about romance at all. It's really about finances. Um, with that three of Pentacles reversed, that truly is about going it alone and sitting next to that high priestess reversed. That's about secrets, and then the four of Pentacles followed following that. It's like. You may have an idea that you are keeping entirely to yourself, okay? This could be a creative endeavor. This could be a business idea. This could be an investment, you know, something you want to invest your money into, um, a career change. Maybe you're thinking of going back to school. Maybe you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel. Like, it could be endless. But for many of you, what I see here is you have this idea or this goal that you're working towards, but you're keeping it entirely to yourself. Um, for others of you, this could be where, you know, at your current job, you could be a higher profile and you have found a different job and, you know, you're keeping that under wraps or you are looking for a different job and you're keeping that under wraps and that is your primary focus for December. It, it's just like whatever's going on when it comes to your finance or career or something you're trying to achieve behind the scenes in secret to advance yourself financially, that is priority. That is where all your energy is going into. Um, for some of you, you know, this is general, even though I don't see the financial constraints card here, this could be that you are having a hard time with money and you're really holding on to everything you have. And, you know, maybe you're dreading the holiday because you're like, uh, this is so stupid and such a waste of money to buy all these gifts. Um, I don't feel like that's so much the case here, but, uh, 
finance, career, and money that is like consuming you. And many of you, it's like you're keeping whatever this is to yourself. If you come into some money, you're going to keep it to yourself. Um, you're not in a month of sharing. That's not what you need to be doing, you know, because it's like this is where your focus should be and this is why. And this being why, again, is speaking to keeping things to yourself, um, maybe keeping things secret, guarding your money, guarding your assets, guarding your values, whatever, however that speaks to you. That's your focus, okay? So this next set of tarot cards is intended to look at the potential romantic opportunities that may be available to you in December. But um, even with these opportunities, if there are any, we'll see what the cards have to say. I just don't know that you guys are open to it, okay? You might think to yourself, yes, I want a relationship, but... It, there's something about your energy where there's no space for this or you your stability your finances is where you truly need to be focusing not on romance whatsoever and I know you don't want to hear that but I'm just seriously I'm reading the cards it's, they come out and that's the message that the universe is giving to you and um you know, I've been there where the universe gives me a message I do not want to hear. But you know what? When I finally give in and just surrender and say, okay, you know what? Fine, I'll do it your way, universe. It always works out better. Like, the waiting it seems longer because the universe surely takes its time. But it's always knows better than we do. It truly does. And if it's gearing you to focus on you and establishing you, then you should go with that 100%, okay? All right, so since I said that, we will go with those cards that flopped out because you had another card that flopped out. Wow. So, looks like you're going to have a little bit of a longer story here, Virgo. <clears throat> Definitely could be some love offers out on the table for you guys. Um... Either that or you're just feeling very romantic and nostalgic and emotional and sensitive and tender, gentle. That's your energy. It's, you know, very pure, very romantic more than anything else. So this could speak to your energy or this could speak to, you know, offers of romance coming your way. Now, whether you're interested in them or not is a whole nother story. <laughs> Look at this, Virgo. Wow. So we have this Ace of Cups. So um, again, I'm going to read this two ways. This could be attached to this Knight of Cups right here, a new offer at love, a new romance coming in, or this could be where you are really falling in love with a new job or with your new creative idea or starting your own business or even with yourself, okay? So you'll know where you'll where you fall and how this card is speaking to you personally. But it's about love and it's about a new beginning and happiness and it, it's paired with this uh, night here. Ooh, and then we have the devil. So there's a lot of obsession and intensity backing this Ace of Cups here, okay? Um, again, since I see so much creative endeavor happening, the establishing of like your material, physical foundation, some of you are just so dedicated to it, like you are obsessed with it and you are flowing so much energy into it. Um, others of you, this could be somebody's really in December just kind of comes in and pursues you hard. Wow. <laughs> and then we have this Eight of Cups here. So this could be some relationship from your past. It could be an ex romance. It could be um, somebody that just you had a crush on or just had a crush on you. It could have been a misconnection. But there's an element of your past returning here, okay? 
And I feel like, I, I really want to make this clear. For some of you, yes, this is a literal person returning from the past, um, offering you a new beginning, hardcore, okay? Like really hardcore. <clears throat> For others of you, just because this is the energy that starts the reading, you may in December really be obsessing over somebody from your past and really desiring them to come back, okay? You may be holding on really tight to that relationship and like it's like that's what you want and that's all that there will be. If, if you can't have that, you want nothing at all, okay? So there is the element of that. And lastly, there is this the element of creativity. This could be an idea that you've had in the past. And finally, now in December, you're choosing to funnel all your energy into this idea, into this dream you have because you are truly in love with it. And it's going to be, it's like consuming all of your passion and time and energy. And that is your current love right now. You're not single, you're in love with your dream of pursuing your dream of making it real, okay? So that's three different scenarios that are laid out here in the cards. So be real with yourself and apply that how it truly fits. If you're just really obsessed over somebody, you need to hear that in this message and not hear that they're coming back to you, okay? Because like I said, there's an element of this really nostalgic, dreamy, obsessive thinking of wishing of this relationship from the past to return, all right? Now, if that's not you, if if you're not obsessing, you know, for some of you, there is some aspect of romance from the past coming back in December to present itself. So let's move on. Hmm. Ten of Cups reverse. So we go from the Ace to the Ten, and it's reversed. Again, it, this pairs nicely with this Eight of Cups. It's like a relationship that you were in um, for a long period of time. Something you invested a lot into is now back for a new beginning. Wow. And we have the Ten of Swords. This could be coming back for a reckoning, for closure, to heal, you know, old hurts, old wounds. We have two tens here, and then we have the magician reversed. So, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. There, if you guys experienced a stalker, like an ex that was a stalker on any level, any level, like even just your social media, calling you a lot, texting you a lot, you know, being controlling or outright stalkers where that person's like outside your house and being cray cray. Like, you know, there's varying degrees of stalkerness. Um, I feel like there's an element of that to this reading. And since this is why am I single? Um, and this is general. You could have an ex that, or maybe not even an ex, maybe somebody you just know that is really kind of obsessed with you. And they're coming in in December. The energy is coming in in December. And with this magician, it's like they're not presenting the full scale of how obsessed with you they are. Now, that will not speak to everybody, but for some of you, that's going to resonate. And when you experience that energy, please just be very aware. I don't see anything dangerous or harmful here, but it just, I don't know. There's an element of that. And since this is general, that could be you. You could be kind of slightly stalking somebody. Just be careful because I feel like you might be found out if, if that's you, okay? Um, for others of you, this relationship that may be returning from the past, you know, there was a lot of time and energy invested into it. And, you know, things may have ended on a really sour note. There could have been cheating. You know, there could have been a lot of deception and betrayal. But it's like there's this intense need to balance this energy, to heal this energy, to move forward in a new beginning for whatever that may mean. And so... 
that that is going to be strong for some of you and again trust your intuition and proceed based on that this is general so i feel like for some of you that whoever this person is definitely has genuine intentions but because of this ten of swords and reverse magician for some of you i don't feel like they have the best intentions for you okay they could just want to hit it and quit it like they may be offering you the sun moon and stars and maybe it's just because they're down on their luck you want to make sure who's ever coming to you to offer you anything is genuine and it's not because they're down on their luck or they were rejected or anything like that it's got to be genuine from their heart like i miss you like crazy i don't want to be without you i i really want to come back in okay um for some of you 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 might want this ex back and for others of you you might not okay this is general so you know, because everyone wants to hear an ex is coming back. Well, this might be an ex that you really don't want to reconcile with, okay? And you're just like, yeah, whatever, dream on. Because, like I said, you guys are really focused on your foundation, on your stability. And there's this offer coming in for you guys, whether it's a brand new person or it's somebody from your past. Like, many of you are going to experience that energy but for some of you if you've been obsessively thinking about an ex and perhaps you've been stalking their social media and you really want a reconciliation i don't feel like that's happening okay i have to be honest based on these cards because i see the intense desire for that but i see like that energy has completed the cycle is completed it cannot manifest again okay so you'll know where you fall in that energy. In fact, Virgo, you guys are the only ones that have seven cards for this, for your December romantic energies. Everybody else just got three. So those three very strong, three very different messages that have come through, only apply it if it fits to your situation, okay? And be real with yourself about where you fall in this energy but most of all i just feel like virgo needs to be focused on themselves like you guys have some sort of gift or i don't know money like money is coming to you you guys are on to something some of you like some really creative endeavor that's going to be quite profitable so I'm going to look at your um, romantic energies for the next few months and just see, you know, how this transitions and what's going on exactly. All right. Well, <laughs> um here's another 10 <laughs> 10 of wands uh definitely some of you are going to have some action in december no if ands or buts about that it's like your dry spell is over okay um <laughs> yeah this is definitely like legitimately having sex so some of you are going to have some encounters that like i said we have this ace of cups here but I don't know um let's just let's see what follows that and then we have the seven of cups and then the king of swords okay virgo i have to say there's a relationship like for some of you there's a relationship but you know again it's you have like this focus like you oops you need to be focused um on yourself on your foundation and that could be like not losing yourself okay but again it's pinnacle cards and then door to value so is this right here energy of learning to love and value yourself and see your self-worth or is this energy truly about your career and finance 
okay are you gonna is this person is this new relationship is this person in your workplace okay or did you work with this person somewhere previously and you've quit your job and now in December you're at your new job and now this relationship can finally begin to blossom okay there's great intensity here um, very passionate very obsessive energy with that devil card and you know when it comes to a new relationship that's not a bad combination the ace of cups and the devil energy it, it's you know that is when you're in that honeymoon blissful stage but with this eight of cups in this mix that this is like somebody you already know okay um, maybe something that couldn't manifest in the past but we have this ten of wands the seven of cups and this king of swords which is your romantic energy playing out over the next three months so it's like you have this um, sexual encounter you can't get this person off of your mind and now you know they're showing up as a king they're showing up as the you know other energy in your life very well could be an air sign since it's the king of swords here so Virgo wow um, you know I have to say your guys's readings overall every single one that I do it's like they're all good you guys are really lucky in the love energy department these last couple months even if you are not feeling that way you guys truly are because we have three tens here in your reading which is the end of the cycle you guys are at the end of being single such as you've been okay there's something maybe this is just a hookup maybe you initiate this hookup with somebody from your past you know this is general so it's going to play out quite differently but for you guys I definitely see you know somebody showing up but because we have the seven of cups here this does reiterate that energy for those of you who have been really obsessed about an ex where again there's this nostalgia this fantasy about what was and hoping that it can be again and I really hope if that is the case for you that you can allow yourself to disconnect from that energy at least in December because I see it as having a very strong hold and you know with these three tens here the cycle has ended okay for for some of you it's that relationship that you just can't let go of that is truly over and you know somewhere deep inside that it's over you truly do know that okay it speaks to that and it's time for you to allow full acceptance of that so that something new can transpire in your life all right for others of you this these tens are representing the end of this singlehood energy there are going to be offers romantic offers coming your way in the over the next three months you know some of them you may be interested in some of them you may not be all right for some of you it may only be one person for some of you it is an X and these three tens here represent the end of the old relationship the old way and here we are starting anew okay but no matter what there is the cycle c completing in your life Virgo and there is a new beginning ace of cups is so perfect and beautiful paired up with this knight of cups for the reading that we're talking about your singleness is coming to an end whether that takes place in um, December or January or February there's offers coming into you guys so I'm gonna pull three more cards just to get some advice to help you navigate this energy and work through this energy um, be careful you know if you do have an ex coming in that doesn't have good intentions you'll know they might just want to hook up so if you get any kind of weird vibe like that's just kind of what they're wanting go with your gut if you just want to hook up and you're just fine with that then cool but if you're not and you still have a lot of feelings for them and hoping that it will reignite something it's not going to okay 
the only way something's going to reignite is if the ex and you are both equally on board for a new beginning, a new start, all right? And that obviously would be discussed up front before we just randomly hook up for sex. So really think about that. All right, so we have Archangel Metatron. Yep, this here, this is the Archangel that comes to those who have psychic ability or mediumship to help them um, really grow that gift. And here we are talking about your intuition. Archangel Metatron is on your side and working with you and your intuition is truly on point, Virgo. You really need to pay attention to it with everything that's coming in and out of your life. Your intuition is not going to steer you wrong, especially when you have Archangel Metatron like at your back supporting you. Look through the situation. So again, don't react out of emotion whatsoever really thoroughly see a situation in a person from all angles all angles okay and it doesn't matter what they're saying or doing like truly see it from many perspectives none of which are from your own emotional bias okay and remember your intuition is also very on point so do not discount it pray um this here ask for spiritual guidance ask for assistance i feel like some of you are gonna just feel very like confused uh have a lot of lack of clarity if this ex person truly does show up from your past okay or new relationships coming in it's just like you're there's a lot of confusion on your behalf and um the angelic realm is on your side, Virgo. All you have to do is ask for assistance, whether you believe in the angelic realm or not. They are there to back you. And Archangel Metatron on your side means your intuition is on point and do not discount it. Look at all situations and people from many different angles and you will not go wrong, okay? So that's what I have for you, single Virgos doesn't look like you guys are going to be single for much longer. So I'm wishing you all very happy holidays and a fantastic new year. Take care.